Recently, I received an interesting question. It goes like this. It's been 23 years since the Agile Manifesto. So why do we still have a cohort of traditional managers? Why do they persist when Agile is so prominent in software development? Why Agile isn't considered traditional management yet? So in this video, you will see clash of the titans, Agile or Waterfall. To help visualize what I'm discussing, I would like to share a presentation with you now. This will provide additional context and details for the concept we are exploring. Why do traditional managers still persist? That's the first question. Here are a few reasons why traditional managers continue to exist despite the rise of Agile. Number one, comfort and experience. Many managers have climbed the ladder using traditional methods and feel comfortable with their established processes. Change can be disruptive and they may not see the need for Agile in their context. The reason number two is project suitability. Agile isn't one-size-fit-all solution. Traditional methods still work well for projects with uh, well-defined requirements, limited change and long development cycles. For example, building a bridge involves blueprints, specific materials and safe codes, with a little room for surprises. Agile's iterative approach might not be suitable here since every step in such project is crucial and predefined. And the reason number three is misunderstanding of Agile. Some managers see Agile as just shorter deadlines or less documentation, missing the core principles of collaboration and continuous improvement. This misconception leads to resistance or poor implementation of Agile. Okay, another question is why isn't Agile traditional yet? So, Agile isn't replacing traditional management entirely for several reasons. So, number one is different tools and different jobs. Project management is like a toolbox. Traditional methods are like a hammer and nails, perfect for a project with clear requirements. Agile is like a Swiss army knife, ideal for a project with evolving requirements. You wouldn't use a Swiss army knife to build a house, right? just as you wouldn't use a hammer to fix your laptop. Both tools have their place depending on the job. And the number two is complementary strengths. Agile and traditional management both aim to complete projects effectively, but have different strengths. In some cases, using both approaches together can be the most successful strategy. Okay. The value of being versed in both methods. In today's business world, being well-versed in both traditional and agile project management methods is a valuable asset for several reasons. Number one is choosing the right tools for the job. Traditional methods excel with clear requirements, well-defined scope and predictable timelines, for example, building a house. Agile shines with evolving requirements a need for flexibility and rapid iterations, for example, developing an app. Number two, adaptability in a changing landscape. Agile allows for quick pivots and faster adjustments. Traditional methods provide a strong foundation for managing risks and assuring compliance. Number three, effective communication and collaboration. Traditional methods focus on top-down communication with clear roles. Agile methods encourage collaborative teams with open communication and shared ownership. And number four is increased versatility and broader career opportunities. Master both methodologies makes you a more valuable asset in the job market, as organizations seek project managers who can adapt their approach based on the project needs. So here are key points to remember. Traditional managers persist due to comfort with established process, project suitability, and misunderstandings about Agile. Agile and traditional management methods are different tools suited for different types of projects. And being skilled in both methodologies provides adaptability, effective communication, and broader career opportunities.
Okay, so let's conclude this video. Understanding both agile and traditional project management methods is crucial in today's dynamic business environment. Each approach has its own strengths and weaknesses, and knowing when to apply each can lead to more successful project outcomes. While Agile isn't without its challenges, such as overcoming resistance to change or adapting frameworks to a specific context, its benefits are undeniable. The focus for teams in 2024 will be on the delivery and productivity. So maybe let's not count on Agile going out of fashion anytime soon. Agile methodologies will continue to evolve and adapt. And actually, I've put some thoughts into how to update the Agile manifesto, and you can find my publication in the description of this video. On the other hand, the waterfall methodologies, formally introduced in the 1950s, has been the historically approach to uh, project delivery management and has been predominantly used by project organization worldwide ever since. So as the name suggests, waterfall methods are linear in nature. They break down a project into fixed series or phases and uh, sequentially perform tasks, where each phase must be completed before next one can begin. As long as we have a project like uh, building a bridge, traditional waterfall methods will continue to be used. And there really is no clear-cut answer to question uh, whether a traditional or agile project management is best for your organization. It will depend on your current workflow, your industry, your project scope and complexity, what your project aims to achieve or create. Is it a product or services, etc. So consider the type of product you are working on and choose the project management approach that best fits your needs. I hope I've answered these questions for you. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe for more Agile and Scrum videos. Thank you for watching and goodbye.